हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ विवि बोलकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर शरीफ ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इच एल करें सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पार्सल आइडेंटिटी फॉर साइन ट्रांसफर फॉर दैट इज फोरियर साइन ट्रांसफर सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट पार्सल आइडेंटिटी फॉर कोसाइन ट्रांसफर सो लेट अस सी द formula for partial identity for fourier sign transform that is 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity fourier fs of s this indicate fourier sign transform into gs of s if there are two function which is with respect to s which is equal to 0 to infinity integration f of x into g of x into dx so this is the partial identity for sign transfer so while solving the example i am going to use one result so we know that if f of x equal to e to the power of minus ax then its fourier sign transfer is given by under square root 2 upon pi s upon s square plus a square so while solving the example i am going to consider only Yes upon a square plus a square, and I have added two upon five in the formula. So this result I have already proved in my previous video. Even you can refer uh, my previous video for this result. So now we will take one example based on the result. By using, by using partial identity, partial identity, evaluate, evaluate integration zero to infinity t square upon T square plus four into T square plus nine into d. So we have to we have how to evaluate this result solution. So first I will define f of x. So here if I observe the question, here we are having two terms. One is T upon T square plus four. Another is T upon T square plus nine. So for that, I will define two function. One is f of x, f of x as e to the power of minus two into x, and g of x as here we are having nine, that is three square e to the power of minus three into x. So now I will write for here. Sign transfer for e to the power of minus 2x. Its Fourier sign transfer is given by s upon s square plus 4. So we can see here the question is in terms of t. So at the end what I do? I will replace s by t. And here Fourier sign transfer in this case is given by Yes upon yes square plus nine. So we have to observe carefully the product of these two terms should be the given quotient function integral. So now partial identity for Sign transfer, sign transfer is given by is given by two upon pi integration zero to infinity f s of s to g s of s with respect to s which is equal to 
zero to infinity f of x into g of x So two upon pi, I will write as it is integration zero to infinity. So your face of s is s upon s square plus four, and zero face s is s upon s square plus nine into ds. So I will write as this way, which is equal to integration zero to infinity. Your four face. That is e to the power of minus two x, e to the power of minus three x into dx. So therefore, two upon pi, I will write as it is integration zero to infinity, yes into yes, yes square upon yes square plus four into yes square plus nine into dx. So this implies integration zero to infinity. So here bases are same. Therefore, I will add the power. It becomes e to the power of minus five x into dx minus two x minus three x is nothing but e to the power of minus five x. So integration zero to infinity two upon pi y square upon y square plus four into y square plus nine ds is equal to so integration of e to minus five x is e to the power of minus five x upon minus five between the limit zero to infinity. So two upon pi, I will write as it is. Integration zero to infinity y square upon y square plus four into y square plus nine ds is equal to so minus one upon five is constant. I will put here upper as well as lower limit. Upper limit is infinity. Five into infinity is infinity. E to the power of minus infinity value is zero minus lower limit is zero. Any number to the power of zero is one. So this implies minus e to minus plus one upon pi. So this is what two upon pi integration zero to infinity y square upon y square plus four. Into s square plus nine with respect to s. So now I take two upon pi two. I just it become integration zero to infinity s square upon s square plus four into s square plus nine ds e equal to pi upon two into five is n. So this is our required answer. So in question we are having. T in place of yes. For that, what I do? I will replace replace yes by T on both side. So you get here after replacement integration zero to infinity t square upon. T square plus four into T square plus nine dt is equal to pi upon ten. So this is what our required answer. So now we we'll take one more example. Evaluate. Evaluate. Integration zero to infinity. T square upon T square plus one whole square into dt. So 
to evaluate this integral i am going to use fourier partial identity for fourier sign transform solution here we are having terms term that is this integral that is p square upon t square plus 1 whole, whole square so i can split this one as t upon t square plus 1 and t upon t square plus 1 for that what i do i will define a function f of x equal to e to the power of minus x similarly g of x equal to e to the power of minus x so f of x for here sign transform for of f of x is f of f of s e equal to square root of 2 upon pi not square root of 2 upon pi that is s upon s square plus 1 so this is what for here sign transform of e to the power of minus x here also i will get same answer that is s upon s square plus 1 now so in the formula partials identity partials identity for for here sign transfer is given by 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity 0 to infinity f of x f of x sorry f s of s into g s of s ds is equal to integration 0 to infinity f of x g of x into So this implies 2 upon pi. I will write as this: 0 to infinity. F s of s is given by s upon s square plus 1 into s upon s square plus 1 ds e is equal to integration 0 to infinity. Here f of x is e to the power of minus x into e to the power of minus x dx. So therefore. 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity s into s s square upon s square plus 1 into s square plus 1 is s square plus 1 whole square into ds which is equal to integration 0 to infinity here bases are same therefore i will add the power that is e to the power of minus 2x into dx so therefore 2 upon pi. I will write as it is integration 0 to infinity s square upon s square plus 1 whole square ds, which is equal to integration of e to the power of minus 2x e to the power of minus 2x upon minus 2 between 0 to infinity. So, two upon pi. I will write as this: integration zero to infinity s square upon s square plus one whole square into ds is equal to. So upper limit is infinity here. Yeah? So I will write minus one upon two as it is. Upper limit is minus infinity. It is power of minus infinity is zero minus lower limit is zero. It is zero is One. So therefore, two upon pi integration zero to infinity s square upon s square plus one whole square d s is equal to one upon two minus two minus plus. So now we take this two upon pi to R H S. It becomes integration zero to infinity s square upon s square plus one whole square d s is equal to Pi upon four. So our question is in terms of t. Therefore, what I do? 
I will replace replace yes by so therefore it becomes integration 0 to infinity t square upon t square plus 1 whole square into dt is equal to pi by 4 so this is our required answer so in this video we have seen how to evaluate the given integrals by using Pascal identity of Fourier sine transform thank you